Hi, I'm sure you know what a My Summer Car is, but if you don't, it's essentially... Enough, you get it. It's a Finland simulator, where a single dumb mistake will cost you your life. I begin by pissing, and then getting out of bed. Did the usual go to the fridge, find out my parents left me, and went to look at my piece of shit car. Building the exterior is pretty straightforward. You put things on, and then you bolt them. First what's needed is a car. Well, to build up the exterior. Well, after that, build up the engine, and then put it in the car. Should be simple. Damn. Whoa. And after this, it was on to the body panels. And with that, most of the exterior was done. Next up, engine. At the end of the garage, there's a shelf with all of the components for the engine, from the block to the pistons and the camshaft and other things. I started off with the crankshaft and then struggled installing the pistons. Ugh. After all that, I installed the camshaft, which in short is responsible for opening the valves. And the timing here ensures that they get opened at the right time, since if they don't, the engine might explode. Someone better be fucking dying. Um, okay. Next I put on the distributor, which in a very rough sketch is responsible for distributing the spark to the spark plugs. It does so by having a rotor mechanically connected to the camshaft, which spins a conductive rod. When spinning, it nearly touches one of the connectors, letting a spark jump the gap and send it to the connected spark plug. Oh, and uh, to change the timing, you twist it forward to advance, backward to delay. With all the gearbox parts installed, the engine was done. And the last thing was to install it in the car. And to do that, I could have done it with the engine hoist, but instead I just dropped it in the engine bay. Installed the last drive components. And so the biggest things were done. And with that, it was time for bed. Oh no. I woke up starving. So I did the most reasonable thing and got some firewood. This will definitely work. Seeing is so overrated anyways. Then put it in the fireplace and waited. This is going to take a while, isn't it? I'll just sit down. After taking care of that, I turned back to the car because I forgot some tiny little details like the radiator, its hoses, brake cylinders, clutch reservoir, clutch lines, brake lines. Okay, I forgot a lot of things, but with the hood on, it didn't matter because the car was... Wait a minute. Well, it's in this mansion. In the attic. But eh, that's a tomorrow's problem. Right now, I need to get to the store. How? Boat. But first, I ordered a ratchet set and some gauge, took the gas can, and ate the ground yeah. sausage. Nah, come on. After losing it all along the way, I loaded everything in the boat, and I was good to go. Yeah, I love land. Now off to the store. Whoa, fuck. I um, meant that. I then exchanged some nice words with the local uh, youth. And met up with Tamo. Um, I needed a few things. Mainly the battery, filter, spark plugs, fire extinguisher, motor oil, brake fluid, and light bulbs. Um, you good? Then I bought some little things, eh, whatever. And holy sh- Wait, I forgot fuel. Shit! Oh well. But then I realized... I have a bike. So after a little mischief, the only thing I could do is... Manual labor. And it took me a bit of time. Especially when you realize you were going the wrong way the whole time. Just a little bit further. Oh look, a Discord moderator. Get the fuck- Once I finally arrived, I neatly packed everything in the boat. And off I was stuck. Ta, <laughs> you thought. Just had to push it a little bit and I was on my way. To the island. I docked. Robbed the house of all his belongings. Huh? What? And sped off into the black abyss. Ugh, 
home stretch. Stay put. Now to organize all of the uh, stuff. And to organize the bag, I simply use my outstanding telekinetic ability. So, um, you should look like this. What? Shut up. It was longer than a minute. The next day I put on all of the stuff I could, like the filter, belt, and spark plugs. You screw in. After inhaling a whole cigarette, I installed the light bulbs and put them on the car. Right, um, wheels. I refueled and gassed myself. <laughs> After a little struggle and without forgetting anything, I set off again. I forgot the sledgehammer. So back I went, but it wasn't all that bad because somehow this fell out. Oh, and also the uncle was home. Oh, hey, it's him. He had left me a uh, nice present. <laughs> Thanks, uncle. I then knocked on his door. Yes, and got the keys. Oh, uh, and after that deviation, it was time to get those damn wheels. Smash. Now what I didn't mention is that the attic has a wasp nest, and I tried clearing that nest using fireworks. But after almost, um, let's say incapacitating myself twice, I decided to give it one last try, and... Nothing fucking happened. So instead I went around the way you're supposed to go, I guess and secured myself the wheels. But as you know, I was on the bike, so I couldn't really drive them to the boat. Trust me, I tried. So, you know the drill. Now to crank this thing to 11. Whoa, that was way too fast. And this time I decided to do something smart. Something smart, which is to bring the van and load everything up into it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. After installing the wheels, next up was aligning them, which I did using nothing but the incredible measuring ability of the human eye. Yeah, looks good enough. Did the same for the other side. Yep, that's good. And then pushed it in the garage. Battery level looks good. Uh, excuse me. Then screwed some missed bolts and installed the fuel tank. And after installing the exhaust, the next step was to wire it all and get it running. Now, there is a meticulous way to do the wiring. However, I chose my way of doing the wiring. That being aimlessly moving around until I hear that noise. Oh yeah. And eventually I started to not see any more connections, so it was time. I put in the new battery and nothing fucking happened. Again. I spent a bit of time trying to troubleshoot. Oh shit. But I got nothing. Which could only mean one thing. That it's something stupid. Oh wow. Also helps if you have a battery. Yes. With that out of the way, I recycled some coolant, then got yelled at by some man. Apparently he needed my wood, but I don't know knockoff Estonian, so I hope he meant firewood. As I worked, it was getting darker and darker, to the point that I had to use the bike as a flashlight. Can you stop? The next day I did the rest, I'll need that, and headed off. What was this? Wait, oh shit. While driving, I decided that I need to save um, two minutes by driving on the rail. And, uh, oh nice, I can't see. Completely nothing went wrong. But hey, I made it. There he is. So I backed up into the lock and dumped my load. Oh, look at that. And got paid big time. Dude, goddamn. So with the money obtained, I made my way to Tamo. Now, paid for the stuff. And got it home. So it was time to make the car ready for the big moment. First did the oil then the coolant, and then check for any leaks in the brakes or clutch. Hmm. Yay, no leaks. And then topped it all off. With that, the engine was serviced and ready. Mm, 
shove it. I fumbled around with the battery. Ah, oh, fuck. And tried to start it, which obviously didn't work since engine needs fuel for some reason. And second try wasn't any better since the engine was all out of tune. So I tinkered around with the distributor by advancing or delaying the timing until... Fuck. Come on. Really? Are you fucking serious? There we go. Oh fuck yeah. Success. Well, kinda. The ticking was from the time being too advanced, so I turned it down a little bit. Then I adjusted the valves by screwing them until they click, and then go one turn down. I then went to do a victory lap, and by that I meant I drove to do my taxes and my tires blew up. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that'll do it. What? But besides all that, I met my uncle who lost his driving license, which means I now have a truck. I picked up the keys and started getting calls about people wanting me to suck their shit. Fucking weirdo. So I ordered some cool stuff, wrote down his cost, and set off. <coughs> oh yeah. But first, after a uh, safe trip to the town, ow, I had to get some cold, hard cash. So that's what I did. Here's a hat for you. After sucking this well dry, I got the cash and put the hose back. Um, no, well that works too. So after that, I could start working on the next step, which was to get the spare tire. Whoa. But there was a problem. No, not that. I'm too strong. The problem is that it wasn't at the junkyard. So all I got was this bio weapon of a couch. I have to get the seatbelt on, but I'm dying so I can't stop. Where the fuck is it? No, no. Um, hey, I did it. But it worked out in the end. Yeah, nothing beats this. But never mind the spare wheel. Instead, I took the wheels I got to the repair shop. Oh. Um. completely on purpose. I then unloaded the wheels, only to find out the little shit was keeping me out. Let me in, you fuck. But little did he know his back door was open. Yeah, you better give me a discount. I paid for the wheels and went back home. The next day, I decided to torture myself and started the hay bale job. And by the way, you can't pierce them, which I didn't know at the time, so um, I struggled. But after a lot of annoyance, I got the hang of it. You fuck. Which didn't make it any less annoying. Oh fuck. But eventually I did it. Hopefully it doesn't roll off. Oh well. Then I just slowly drove to the farm. Fucking you up. I unloaded them. Come on, get up. Ate some slop. Went to sleep. Did a sewage job. Emptied my tank. And got offered a new way of making money. Ooh, he did. How did that happen? And I got back to work. No. I then unloaded and repeat. But the next day was rally day. Holy shit. Which, I mean, wasn't really a concern for me. Loser. And on my way back, I checked if my wheels were done. But it was closed. So I just morphed through the wall. I threw the wheels and went to clean up what was left of the first field. After throwing the wheels in my cab, I took them home. Oh, and with that, the new wheels were secured. And while I was home, uh, again, I became an uncertified alcohol brewer. Better put you back where you came from. The next day, I was going to finally get this job done. There is no way these stay on. I mean, look at it. But I was gonna try anyway. And to my surprise, nothing fell off. Ooh. After a quick stop, don't you fucking dare. Okay. The only thing left to do was to drop them off.
Whoa, hey big guy, watch out. <laughs> Whoa. You guys are fun. But obviously someone just had to crash into my queue. Which meant I lost two bales. But it's not all bad, since I spotted a car wreck, which I'll later take with me and sell. Uh, yep, that makes sense. I heard a shout. He fucking ran into it. I retrieved the bales and went to grab the car. And then... No way. I didn't even know it could spawn here. Why didn't I pick up the wreck later? And after all that hassle, I was finally done with it. Oh my god, it's over. I collected Tamo's money, and while driving home I decided to look into this barn, and jackpot. I dumped the car, brought the other one, and then had a chat with my now malformed uncle. What is wrong with you? But the next day it was time for the final step. I painted the wheels white, put them on, look at that, put the spare wheel, triangle, and car jack into the trunk. I would also install the coke dispenser. Then it was time to properly align the wheels. Oh yeah, straight as ever. Okay, so, wheels, triangle, spare wheel, car jack, lights. Um, no, right. All right, that's everything done. Ah, well, except for the very last thing, but now it's time for bed. Next up, the phone rang. It was a local drunk, and he needed a ride home, say no more. So, there was only one thing left to do. Not like I had a choice in the matter. Greetings, where are you going? Fifty? For all that? Anyway, in my infinite wisdom, since it was still early, I drove straight through the inspection, nope, I went to get fish, then grilled them, which took longer than I expected, brought them to the grandma, who talked for longer than I expected, and the inspection shop was closed. Good job. Well, I couldn't afford my parts anyway, so I did some quick switch jobs. Test you. Yeah. Really? Excuse me, can you open your fuck? And now the big moment is here. I drove onto the lift and didn't know what to expect. There shouldn't be anything that would fail, right? I mean, haven't I made sure of everything? But the moment of truth was here. Did I fail? Did I pass? Find out next. I passed. Oh yeah. Well, it's done. All that's left is to bring the parts home. Oh yeah, that's it. Which meant the car is ready for the next stage. To prepare for the rally. So, I'll see you there. Thank you.